We ready? Are we, are we recording? Yeah. What's up? This is DJ Beneficial, DJ Vex, DJ yeah, Traps up? on the camera. We're going to show you how to use the Korg Nano with Serato. Because we just figured this out. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> so check it out. We we're going on YouTube trying to figure out basically how just to set up all the key points or set up any kind of function that you guys want um, with the Nano Pad. You guys can see it. Nano Pad. All you see is this red light turning on. That's how you know it's on. Looking it up to the the new version 1.9 for uh, Scratch Live. Um, all you do is basically hook up, push the mini button on the top of setup of the Scratch Live. Um, once on here, yeah, exactly right there. Once on here, you basically can assign any pad to whatever you want. Like, uh, for example, uh, picking cue points. Um, this first cue point, you pick it, you click on it. Um, you push the pad right here. Now, the way I have everything set up right now is basically I have uh, the top. Top pads are basically my left deck. Bottom pads are my right deck. You can assign it to whatever you want. I have um, one through four cue points. One. I have the bottom one for the right turntable. So go back over it again so they can see what um, what you're actually doing here. Like, um, why don't you like? Take some of these off. Oh, okay. And then, like, and Check it out. show them, like, exactly how it goes down. I'll take these off. How about this? I'll just turn it onto its a different pad. You could do it on a separate bank. You go to bank two, which is totally blank. And then you could reassign these. So, uh, let's see. Go right here. That so one is your one, and then I'll do the second one. And then let's say I want to do something different. I'm gonna do. So you um, want to put your cursor over the arrows, and not the X's. Like I made the mistake of doing, and it was actually took my cue points away rather than set them. So yeah, you want to hover over the arrows on the left to set your cue points. So this time around, I'll just do two cue points, and I'll do like some loops. I'll do like uh, a full loop, which is the one right there. So that's my third pad, and then I'll do this the half loop, which is the fourth pad, and then I'll do uh, quarter. Actually, no, I gotta take this off. Go this way. That way, I can see it. And go back onto the MIDI, go quarter, and then push five. So, did you guys see that? One, two, one, two, three. So, so now you got your, your cues and your and your loop points. Exactly. So, when I press play, I can mess around with it. That's Word. about it. So if y'all have any questions, leave some comments, concerns. Because um, we had some. Apparently we figured ours out. We couldn't see anybody record this on YouTube. So hopefully y'all take advantage of this. Peace. Word. Thanks, Rex.